Dear students, it's my pleasure seeing you watching this video of distance and displacement. So what actually distance is? You have been traveling thousands of kilometers from your childhood till today to reach this place. So 1000 kilometers means that is the actual length which you have traveled in a given interval of time. And that time might be 14 to 15 years of age. So am I considering in it any direction? No, I'm what, I, what I'm saying, I'm actually saying the actual length which you have traveled in certain year that is your 14 to 15 years of age. So we call this quantity as distance. Okay, let's read it once again. The actual length that is 1000 kilometers traveled by a body by you irrespective of direction in any direction in a given interval of time that might be 15 years or 14 years is called distance okay so we represent this quantity by a symbol that is s in capitals or smalls to denote this to express this quantity there are certain units like centimeter kilometer meter miles so you might be wondering that why we use centimeter okay we can measure distance in centimeter because there are certain creatures like ant According to his capacity, he can travel certain kilometers, certain sorry, certain centimeters only within a certain uh, span of time. Like kilometer, we travel by aeroplanes, by our vehicles, we can travel certain kilometers. And similarly, the, we travel to various planets by in the by the unit that is uh, light years. Okay, even we travel in miles. So these units are the way to express this quantity that is known as distance so we clearly know that it is a scalar quantity because we do not consider in it the direction we only consider that magnitude and what magnitude i told you just now that is thousands of kilometers so students how to calculate it let's understand this in the form of this figure so in front of you there are certain points marked as T, R, S and P. So in the point T I have marked it as mode of ignorance, point R as mode of passion and point S as mode of goodness and point P as mode of pure goodness. So you must be wondering that why I am going to teach you with these representations. First of all, before telling you a story, I want to say that students, science and spirituality are both complementary to each other. Okay, science is like a blind person, and and on the on the shoulder of the blind person, a lame person is sitting, and that is spirituality. Okay, so both need each other support. Because science is blind and spirituality is lame without science. Okay. So that's why there should be a mixture of spirituality and science together. So let's, let's, let's tell you a story. Once upon a time in a jungle, one businessman was roaming about with his basket of caps. After walking a certain distance, he felt tired and he slept under a tree. tree. So there were monkeys all around on the trees and they came and picked up all the caps from the bus basket and wore, wore on their head and went away back and climbed up the tree. When this businessman, businessman woke up, he became very irritated to see, see that monkeys were wearing the cap. So Think about what you will do at this situation. You might get irritated. You might feel morose. You might be feel very unhappy. You might cry. So, see, a person in the mode of ignorance, what he will do? He will be very sad and he will cry. He will move away from that place. Okay. He will become very, uh, what should I say? Uh, dishearted that's that's the quality of the more of the person in the mode of ignorance and suppose the person in the mode of passion what he will do he will pick up a stick and try to uh, hit the monkeys and 
make them uh, move away from that place try to try to bring that caps back okay so that's the quality of a more of a passion person in the more of passion and the person who will the more of goodness what he will do see and i hope that my all the students are in the mode of goodness so you smart students what you will do i think you will let me tell what that person did because he was in the mode of goodness that is satguna he very smartly because he was wearing a cap only one cap was left and he was wearing on his head so that businessman smartly uh, put his cap uh, uh, put his put down his cap and uh, kept in the basket and immediately the the same thing the monkeys did and the monkeys kept that cap in the basket because the monkeys used to imitate so see what you are learning here the person the more of ignorance you know that the person the more of ignorance very is confused he is dull panicky lazy intoxicated he is very sleepy and tries to postpone things okay so i hope my no, no none of my students are in the mode of ignorance so students next is there is a mode of passion a person the mode of passion is very greedy he is very attached to material things and he is very passionate to acquire name fame and his bodily ness bodily necessities so that is the state of a more person in the mode of passion and similarly there is a third kind of quality third kind of state that is guna that is more of goodness and so such a person is very poetic a philosopher is very calm clear creative he is very cool headed so that's that's what the quality of that businessman he was very cool headed and so 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 he performed such an act okay so students that is why i'm saying that these are the three states modes in which most of the person who are in the this in the in this material nature are in the three these three modes of nature so there is a third state there is a fourth state sorry there is a mode of pure goodness and in this state a person has no material desires and he is totally he is completely engrossed in the thoughts of the god and he just want to serve the lord unconditionally okay so so students to move from let's relate this to this distance suppose you are in the t state okay let's consider the journey of the soul you are in the t state first of all you in the more of ignorance i think you must be now clear with the these terms that is more of ignorance more of passion more of goodness and more of pure goodness that we call as tamoguna rajoguna satguna and shuddha sattva okay so you are in the state that is t right now suppose to you are very inactive and to become active to be involved in certain activities to be Uh, uh to be act, uh, to be very energetic to be very agile you need to travel certain distance that is t- from t to r that is 50 km it will require very very few distance to travel from t to r okay then after that if you really want to reach a certain state that is a satguna this mode of goodness you have to travel a very large distance double the distance uh, double the distance uh which we travel from t to r that is 100 kilometers r se aise jaane mein hame double distance lagega that is 100 kilometers because a very high state to reach that state is very difficult it's not very easy so the next state is there is a more of pure goodness and that distance is 150 kilometers is a very high state very few people reach such state and those people those who reach such a state are known as a paramahansa okay so that is 150 kilometers so that is journey of the soul from point t that is more of ignorance okay then from t to r that is more of passion and from r to c to that satguna state that is more of goodness and then from the more of goodness state to the more of pure goodness okay so such is the state okay see so how what distance you actually traveled to reach from t point to p point 
let's calculate it as i told you just now the distance is the actual length of the path traveled so the actual length which you traveled to to move from to change your conditioning from to change your situation from these three these four states okay so the distance is the 50 what you path travel the distance travel from t to p that is t to r you travel 50 km 50 meters then from r to s you travel 100 meter then from s to p you travel that is 150 meter okay so total distance actual path travel is that is 300 meter are you getting my point that's very great distance okay so the this is the for uh, different states which i told you so such a person you should never be in that these three states the purpose of this life is to reach this state that is a mode of pure good nature the shuddha sattva okay and i believe with constant efforts one day you will reach such a state and go back home that is back to godhead okay so in the next video i will be explaining about displacement and what shorter distance we should you should take to reach directly from this state to this state that will be known as the displacement and i will be explaining you that in the next video thank you very much students